Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. After our big foot of snow and quarter inch of ice on top of that, uh, got up to about 45 today. Uh, I'd say about half of it's probably melted, maybe not even that much. At least the road's passable where you ain't got to have a four wheel drive or something to get out. So I hate just damn wintertime stuff, and they're calling for some more next week. Uh, I hope they're wrong. I do. This is uh, Clown Chews Moses and the Misfits, and it's an Imperial Cream Ale, guys. This comes in at 9.1%. Uh, and on the bottle here, it says, uh, brewed with cocoa nibs and vanilla beans. So, uh, right interesting sounding beer. Uh, and this one was bottled on, uh, seen it here somewhere. Bottled on December 10th of 2015 and we're in February here so not too old for an imperial beer. Uh, don't do a lot of imperial cream ale. Usually that style is usually on the lighter side. Uh, almost session beer. Usually they're around 5%. But this is a bigger version. So uh, plus with the cocoa nibs and the vanilla beans should be fairly interesting I hope. We'll see. And it's and the cream ale, I don't know why, but it's not an official recognized style in the uh, uh, the BJCP, uh, the beer judging uh, category. So it doesn't have a food pairing listed here on right beer. So, uh, and the IBUs, it says here it is not listed. And it's not on the bottle, guys, so I don't know what the bitterness units are on this. So, uh, commercial description says... Soulful tunes and a great beer touch the best part of us here at Clown Shoes. Moses and the Misfits is an imperial cream ale with cocoa nibs and vanilla beans added for a unique contrast and flavor. And it is brewed a celebration of our sixth anniversary. We encourage those who drink this beer to tune into the music they love most and join the Misfits of the Clown Shoes Brigade. Clown Shoes. Uh, I like a lot of the stuff that these guys do. Uh, they're dating the bottles now, so that's better than they were a year or so ago. And uh, they do some, some pretty tasty stuff, so I'm not sure what this one's going to bring to the table. So let's find out. Food pairings, like I said, it doesn't have anything listed there. Glass for our pint, back and onic mug, signed side deal. I got my favorite glass again today, and not recommended for extended salaries unless ABV exceeds the average range. With a 9.1%, I think it exceeds the average range. So uh, I don't know what would deter this beer from if you wanted to sell it for a little while. So uh, do with it what you will. Drink it now or save it for a little bit. I uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's get it open and see what we got. Uh, I have some people ask me about openers. Guys, I don't have any. This is the last one I got. I'm not going to get rid of it until I get another batch in. I will do a video as soon as that happens. There are a few t-shirts left, some triple X's, and I think I got a double X or two. Uh, may even have an extra large left. I'm not sure where all the larges are gone, all the mediums, and the, all the smalls are gone. About a finger of head on that pour. A uh, nice orange tangerine color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Looks fairly well carbonated. Nice creamy head on there. Let's get a nose on it. Very citrusy smelling. Not getting a whole lot of the vanilla beans. Or the cocoa nibs in the nose. A little bit of apricots or pears or peaches or something. Nice fruity smell. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mmm. 
a little bit of vanilla in there. It's more of a lighter fruit. Apricots, pears, apples, peaches. Nice creamy mouthfeel. Alcohol is very well hidden. Can't even tell it's a 9.1%. Drinks very light. Very tasty. Not my typical style or something I drink a lot of. Uh, don't drink a lot of cream ales. And I'm not recalling any imperial cream ales. So this may be, from what I can recall, maybe one of the first ones uh, that I've done that's a uh, cream ale and, and this high of an ABV. So. Well, let me sit on it for a little bit and let her have a glass, what's left in the bottle, and uh, we'll see where it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it probably about an hour now. Now that it's warmed up to room temperature, it is a little bit on the boozy side. Couldn't detect that when it was cold, but now that it's warmed up, it's just a very ever so slightly hint of the uh, the cocoa nibs and the vanilla. So uh, more. More fruity than anything else. I'm getting the apricots, pears, and apples. Okay, beer. I mean, it's definitely above average. Not my typical style, though. Final chug. Nice mouthfeel. Decent beer, guys. Uh, I'm not into the cream males and stuff, but this seemed to be okay. Uh, wasn't blown away by it. I don't really think it's an A beer, uh, but I think it's an above average beer. I'm going to give this a six, guys, which is a B. Uh, nice fruitiness to the beer. Uh, like I said, don't drink a lot of cream males, but uh, seemed to be okay. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate, they say 82 in the good range. And uh, I agree, it's a good beer. And over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 65, but 93 in the style. Uh, I think if I was to put a numeric rating on this, it would be better than a 65. And my B is around 85. So uh, pretty pretty close to the Beer Advocate score on this one. So uh, did have the date on the bottle. If it didn't have the date, I would probably give it to B-. minus. But it does have a date on it. It's got the ABV on it. doesn't have the IBUs. It seemed to be an okay, decent beer. So, if you've had this one from uh, from Clown Shoes, this is Moses and the Misfits Imperial Cream Ale. Let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the bridge. See you then.